what I prefer is that they should be interactive. When, 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 when the tu uh, tutorials are too you know, structured, they get too monotonous. And what I, what I prefer is that the, uh, the tutorial should be quite spontaneous. Like, as in, there should be a certain amount of structure, like let's say we need to do this, 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 blah, 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 on a certain day, but it shouldn't be too structured, like, you know, uh, it should be structured to an extent, like the lecturer, or oh, sorry, a tutor should know what, what he's gonna teach us today, but, but there should be some sort of an interaction as well, she, and he or she should, you know, prompt some sort of interaction by asking questions, or making groups there and making sure all the students interact. What I figured out was if, 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 you know, if you're interacting with the class and as well as the tutor, then you're, then you're more motivated to go to the, tutor, uh, the tutorial as well. Because when, uh, when, when it's too structured and when it's too, let's say, uh, when it's too structured, it gets boring and it gets, uh, you know, and that's when the students start getting slack because they reckon you know they're not important. They don't feel important. It's all about making the student feel important as well. And uh, yeah, that's that's what I expect from uh, from a t uh, from a tutor in a in a respective tutorial. Yeah. Because uh, like if you discuss with friends or discuss with the tutor, then you get more information, and then students can help each other. Like uh, smart students can help the weak students. And then make more the make the class more interesting. You won't fall asleep when you talk to people. I definitely prefer something a lot more interactive and discussion based. Um, I personally um, love uh, engaging with um, the lecturer or the tutor, uh, as well as my fellow classmates. Um, I think that that is uh, uh, the best way to learn um, instead of just being lectured to. Um, and told things to actually uh, flesh out uh, particular ideas and concepts. And I think that's a great thing and certainly helps with my own learning. I think a bit of both would be the most important thing. I think first and foremost it needs to be structured. So the tutor needs to come in and say, okay, this is, this is what um, we've done this week. Um, this is what you need to know. Um, let's go through the questions one by one, any questions, um, whatever. But um, at the same time, if it's too structured, then um, there's no flexibility, there's no room for students to be able to um, ask a little bit more detailed questions or, or ask a little bit different, um, uh, to go on different um, branches or whatever of that particular thing. So um, structure is the most important thing, but um, in saying that you need flexibility for students to be able to raise things when they want. Um, so maybe in two hour treats, you have the first hour structured and the second hour a bit more discussion based, a bit more group work based. When they talk about the tutorials, we should say, what the tutorial like? Normally the tutorial just like, you go to the class and uh, they got some questions and we do the question together and the tutor will explain everything. Uh, compared with the lecture, tutorial is not really well structured and I don't think it's necessary to be well structured because uh, I prefer in the tutorial, like, uh, we got the discussions and the more group activities because that's a good time, like, uh, we got the small class and the one tutor. So it's good to, we got the conversation, like, a, a one to one or one to a group. So that's really good chance to ask questions and uh, figure out some hard problems. Uh, so. It's good to leave like 10 or 15 minutes for each tutorial and uh, we got like a, a discussion about some general problems. But if you got some really well structured uh, tutorial, it will be the tutor talk about everything from the first minutes to the last minutes. So this may make students feel really boring. So yeah, I prefer the freestyle of the tutorials. Yeah. <laughs> I think, there sh I think there should be a structure of bases we've got to hit, but it should be definitely flexible enough so students who want to speak can speak, and it's, it should be very interactive based, but although covering a certain structure of what should be um, f objectives to be fulfilled, but in an interactive situation or scenario. 
definitely not structured. Like some people might regard that as a more organized way of teaching, and students can get prepared for it. But the thing I, I believe that if you have a struct, structured tutorial, then studentsly most students like me mostly just listen and do whatever they are told, and they're not really thinking. The brain's not actually functioning. If we have a more discussion-based or question-answer type, it's probably harder for students to just put their hands up or speak out. But it will allow the students to think, allow their brain to actually work, not just listening, but they will think, they will discuss, thinking what went wrong, what needs to be done, why isn't this working out, where have I gone wrong? So it's actually helping them to use the knowledge they have learned in class to apply them and then to use them. So that would be more effective than just listening to people saying stuff to them.